Welcome to Santi Peace for Mathematics. This video is based on solving the example of maxima and minima using method of Langrange multiplier. So let us state what is the example is. The example states that find the maximum and minimum distance of a point 3, 4, 12 from a sphere x square plus y square plus z square equal to 1. So here the situation is that is one sphere is given to you. And consider this is a three dimensional sphere. Center is 0, 0, 0. And the radius is 1. And there is a point outside it that is 3, 4, 12. The question is to find out the maximum and the minimum distance from this point. So the minimum distance is what is the shortest distance between this sphere and this point, and the longest distance probably with the maybe this one. We don't know. So that distance we need to calculate. So we solve this example using the method of Langrand multiplier. So before that, to solving the method of Langrand multiplier, we need to understand what is the working rule for finding the Langrand multiplier. So the working rule is this, you need to have one function f. The small f is the function for that we need to calculate the maximum or minimum value of this, that is the stationary value for that function. You required a one parameter lambda which is unknown parameter. And you require the condition y of x, y, z is equal to 0. To make one function like this. And then you have to obtain this equation, three equation, which by finding the partial derivative of the capital F with respect to x, y, z. And the third step is solving these three equations using this y of x, y, z is equal to 0. And whatever the value of you will get from this one. These are the stationary values for this function f of x, y, z. This is the working rule for finding the maxima or stationary value for functions of two variables using Langrange multiplier. Here is the problem we have given. Let us consider any point on the sphere as x, y, z. And I am calling that point as p. And if I am just calling this point as a. So this distance between A and P, we know it is a square root of, and so I am just taking square here, will be x minus 3 square plus y minus 4 square plus z minus 12 square. We need to find out the maximum value of this and the minimum value of this distance. Whenever it is at minimum, it will fall to this point. That is the minimum distance, that is the smallest distance between this two point and the sphere. And the when this value, this function has maximum value, it will give you a longest distance from that point to the sphere. There is no condition in given, is this point is on the sphere. So that is your, so this is your function f of x, y, z that we are saying. And the function phi of x, y, z, which is this condition is given that is x square plus y square plus z square minus 1 equal to 0. So, as for this gamma multiplier method, we need to have f, that is f plus lambda phi. So, we will substitute that value of f, which is x minus 3 square plus y minus 4 square plus z minus 12 square plus lambda into x square plus y square plus z square minus 1. Now the next task is to calculate all the fx is equal to 0, fy is equal to 0 and fz is equal to 0. That is the step number 2. So what is fx is equal to 0 will give you 2x minus 3 plus 2 lambda x equal to 0. And this will give you lambda equal to minus of x minus 3 upon x. Second one, we have x 2 into y minus 4 plus 2 lambda y 
equal to 0 that is sum of this fy is 0 by making the partial derivative of this equation with respect to y. So hence we have lambda is minus of y minus 4 upon 1. Lastly we have the third equation that is fz equal to 0. So partial derivative of this equation with respect to z will be used to 2 into z minus 12 plus 2 into lambda z equal to which gives you lambda equal to minus z by minus 12 upon z. Since lambda is this, here is also lambda is this, here we have lambda is this. So we equal it this way and we get, so we have lambda equal to minus x minus 3 upon x minus y minus 4 upon y minus z minus 12 upon z. Now making square and add them. So that is also we can write that x minus 3 square plus y minus 4 square plus z minus 12 square upon x square plus y square plus y square. If I take the square root here, then also we have the same square. So the square root is nothing but the plus or minus square root of f upon 1 because f is this x minus 3 square plus y minus 4 square plus z minus 12 square is there. So square root will be square root of f and this x square plus y square plus z square is 1. So that's why we have. So we have now value of lambda which is plus or minus square root of f. In the previous video we have calculated this equation, this equation and this equation. Using these three equations, we can have the value of x now because we now know what is the value of lambda. So due to this equation, let us rewrite that equation again. That is x minus 3 plus lambda x is equal to if I cancel out 2 from f. The next equation is y minus 4 plus lambda y equal to 0 and the third equation is z minus 12 plus lambda z equal to that way it gives you 1 plus lambda x is equal to 3, 1 plus lambda y equal to 4, and 1 plus lambda z is equal to 12. So hence x will be 3 upon 1 plus lambda is plus or minus 12 upon f, y is 4 upon plus or minus square root of f and z is 12 upon 1 plus or minus square root of f. Now we need to solve these three equations using four equations. The first one is fx is equal to 0, fy is 0, second one is fy is 0, third one is fz is 0 and the last one is phi of x, y, z equal to 1. We have used that equation here one time and again we use that equation because phi of x y z is x square plus y square plus, plus that square minus 1 is there. Here we have 0. So that's why we can have x square plus y square plus z square equal to 1. It gives you 3 upon 1 plus or minus square root of f square. So this will become 9 plus 16 upon the same quantity plus 144 upon the same one, equal to 1. So that's why it is 9 plus 16 plus 144 will be 169 upon 1 plus or minus square root of f whole square equal to 1. So that's why 1 plus or minus square root of f is equal to plus or minus 13 if I take this square root. So hence the square root of f will give you minus 1 plus or minus square root of 13, this is also plus or minus. Now this square root of f is a distance, so it cannot be a negative, it will not be assumed as a negative value. And hence this will give you only two positive values which is 12 and 14. Okay, so the 12 will give you a minimum for the function ab, what is the ab distance between a and b point which is a 12 distance and which is the minimum distance, the maximum distance is 14. That we can conclude from this example. The 
that's it for this video. If you have liked this video, please press the like button. If you have any comment, suggestion, or question, please drop down in the comment box below. See you next video. Bye bye. Sign